Hi YouTube, this is going to be the first in three videos coming after the review I made of the HP 95LX. And this video in particular is going to be about using DOS on the 95LX and various applications you can use. So first I'm showing the boot sequence in my palm top. You can see there's the ATA PC flashcard device driver that I've modified that's installed so I can use a CF card in the machine. And that's in the slot here. Yeah, I'll pull that out and show it to you. So I have a nice 32 meg CF card in the adapter. That works great. I only have 9 megs used of approximately 30, 31 free. Stick that back in and hot plug it in there. The next thing you can see in the boot up sequence is something called Toddy. That's a command line editor that remembers past commands and has autocomplete. So this makes it almost as user friendly as a Linux console. See if I go dir here on the C directory, if I go click the up arrow key, it remembers the pass command. It's beautiful. You can even do autocomplete as well. Nancy.sys dir auto exec dot bad. What we're looking at here is a 40 by 16 window, but this is actually a virtual window within a larger 80 by 25 window. This machine has MDA monochrome display adapter graphics. So how do we get around that 80 by 25 actual window? Well, you use Alt plus the arrow keys. You can pan up or to the right and so on. It's important to note though, when I do dir slash p page by page, that just looks at the 40 by 16 virtual window. There's too few files to, to effectively show that here, but it's limiting the pages just to the 40 by 16 display, which is great. So that's a few basics about DOS. I'll show you also how you can enter that from Filer. And to get to Filer, I'm going to need to load up the System Manager. Uh, SYSMGR after a dollar sign. Okay, there's Sys Manager, Filer, Menu, System. And there we go, MS DOS 3.22, and you can do all the things from here, and then type exit to get back to Filer. So you can even get to MS DOS right from Filer amongst the built in apps in the System Manager. Okay. I'm going to reboot this again so I can get into the A drive. Okay. okay. So I'm going to show three applications now that work great on the 95LX. One is VDE or the Video Display Editor. You go in my data directory and then open up VDE. So this was a classic text editor and word processor for MS-DOS, but it only opens files up to 64K. It was customized for the 95LX, which is great. You have your nice header there, page, line, and um, column. And there's even a nice help menu for, for different, different functions and shortcuts. Yeah, quick movement deleting and, and so on. So there's lots of handy shortcuts to help with your text editing. There's a few kinks though with VDE. It doesn't have insert set by default. You have to do shift delete to set insert. And you also can't use the backspace key. You have to use delete. So yeah, see I do delete there. But if I do back, or not that, um, delete, but if I do backspace, it just moves to an earlier position. Okay. And now to exit, I'll do Control Q, uh, oh, excuse me, Control K Q, and I'm going to abandon changes. Okay, so that's VDE. That's limited to 64K, but the great thing with the 95LX is you can even run Vim, a version from 1994, version 3.0 on the machine. It's, it's a fantastic editor and it'll edit way more than 64K and has tons of shortcuts and after some learning you can edit text really quickly with it. So first I'm going to run my Vim init 
script and so that sets the vim directory and then the temporary directory for temporary files and then I'll edit a new file test.txt okay so you can see that's a new file I'll enter in um, press I to insert oops this is a test vim file for the video okay and then uh, escape to get back to the command mode control WQ okay so it wrote that and I'll do dir test.txt oops yep 40 characters okay CLS enter test.txt yep there we go so you can use Vim it's it's fantastic you can jump from line to line and and use simple um, sets of shortcuts to cut words and and um, edit text quickly and that does more than 64k I guess the limit is well it's a one meg machine so you could have a 600k uh, file I, I suppose okay so the last thing I'll show you then is pygmy fourth it's a wonderful tiny little fourth environment it's all interpreted well it's tough to say it's interpreted it's interpreted and compiled you run everything within pygmy but pygmy compiles your fourth words and executes them so I'll load up Pygmy and, and you know, this runs on many MS-DOS machines, clean the Night 5 LX. You get this nice opening window and you can see where different um, screen files have been loaded. And I'm going to show you a couple test words to demonstrate printing the ASCII character set. Let me first set caps lock since everything has to be capitalized for Pygmy. Do include uh, test.fs. And I have one... Uh, test where they'll print the whole ASCII character set in code page 850 but all over multiple lines and you can see I have to use alt to see all the characters but I've run another word test 2 that will stop at 40 columns so you can see all the ASCII characters there and just a demonstration of what you can do with fourth again it's a great environment and shows you you can do programming on this machine even with that limited display there's plenty of stuff you can do and it's and and this is fourth so it's tiny and it's fast and it forces you to factor code and I could go on longer about all the beauty of fourth so I'll stop there in my next video I'm going to show you how many games you can play on this machine and then the third video after this will be about using this as a dumb terminal, backing things up to a Linux machine, and how you can use it as a web browser in conjunction with a Linux-powered router I have. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next couple of videos. Thank you.